Welcome to Ecoblog Isle of Man. On one of your previous videos, the Tim Timwald Petition video blog, you mentioned that the government was hiring a chair um, to, to oversee the transition um, group of the government. That's right, yes. So um, he's been named and um, he's being um, interviewed now at the moment. Um, his name is Professor Curran, he comes from Scotland and he has a vast wealth of knowledge and experience in this transition and he's very excited because he can see the advantage of the fact that we're not a, a large city with small land um, and a large population, we're, we're actually a relatively rural population with an awful lot of natural resources which makes um, our, our particular solution far more attainable. Um, and are people other than the government going to be able to be part of this conversation? Uh, yes, I think there's, there's a very clear understanding that Professor Curran will be talking to all interested parties. Um, and I think it's very important for us to have a clear voice um, amidst this, what I would say, quite complex dialogue. Um, the, the, the great advantage of what we've formed here on the Isle of Man, the climate Change Coalition Group is that it now consists of over 20 different organisations and quite varied organisations. Um, um, I believe you're you're part of one of them. Yeah. What yeah. would that be? So we're part of Extinction Rebellion, which is has signed up to be a a part of the groups that are part of the Climate Change Coalition. So you all share a common um, aim and ethos as part of the Climate Coalition Group. And, and the quite quite disparate groups. So we, we have uh, Christian Aid, we have uh, Wildlife Trust, um, we have the Humanists. So uh, and that's just to, just to name a few. Yeah. So uh, and uh, what's great about having um, this single body is that I think to to create real change and to keep that bar high. And I'm talking about trying to aim for something that at today might not seem attainable, but it's very surprising how things shift. And when you've got um, a collective direction, a collective voice going in one way. It's amazing how things, barriers can fall in, in, in the same way that the Berlin Wall fell in the late 80s. Yeah, it's really exciting actually. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah.